Dara. Da, da, da. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, right. to Metal Gear. Da, da, da. Dun, dun, oh, Dun, 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 dun. There's a hazard. There's a solid it's part down. Oh. I actually had to do a couple practice oh, rounds before I recorded. Playing Man Mario. You forgot the solid in the title. There's <laughs> gonna be Marciano. Ah, fine, have it your way. This ain't Burger King, no. One of those pick the right path kind of things. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, uh, uh, hello. Oh, yeah, by the way, yeah, we, have a, sister, ignore her, we have a special guest <laughs> to introduce himself. <laughs> Alright, this is Stormtrooper125. Also known as. But you have a YouTube channel? Gabe. Yes, I do. Don't call me Shirley. Oh, okay, I'll stop with the references. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Stormtrooper, do you have any videos? Not like ones two. worth watching. He helped me out with some things on my channel, like he was a voice, voice actor. Um, that mission I told you about. Well, the first one, anyways. Well, cool. I play Link. The hero of time. Mind you, he's really cocky, and also the headspace is kind of awkward in this in this game. Like, it's, it's fair, but it's not right at the same time. Oh, I can what I mean. I, I just thought of a question for you guys. What was what was the best weapon in the game? The entire series, I mean. Oh. The entire series? Yep. That's pretty obvious. The Patriot. The Flamethrower. Could you do another one? With all of them? With the... Wait. Oh, you're right! The flamethrower! <laughs> the one weapon had to beat a big boss. <laughs> was it Snake's Fist? No. Was it the Patriot? No, no. Big Boss had that, you idiot. <laughs> was it M16? No. What was it? Rocket Launcher? Better. What? Ironically, ironically the enough, there's a good chance Big Boss had the Patriot when it took on Solid Snake. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. By the way, the boss and Big Boss. They did not follow their only advice to the Grey Fox. They had weapons. Only a fool trusts his life with a weapon. <laughs> yeah, and yet they use it. Yep. Oh. Game, how did you first come across this game? Let's see. Hmm, that's a good question. How did I come across it? Well, I'll tell you how I indirectly knew about it. I was, I was 2005, ironically the same year as Metal Gear Solid 1. Like, you know, timeline-wise. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, ooh, Metal Gear Solid, I've heard about this game. I look at the manual, yes, I read the manual at the age of 10. <gasps> Say it isn't so. So, I read the manual, and it says, Outer Heaven in Zanzibar Land. And I'm like, ooh, what are these? And I read them, and I'm like, cool, these must have been games before, or something. And I learned that Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake were games. By reading the manual. Something that is completely unheard of in today's world. Yes, exactly. I'm surprised I had the capacity of knowledge to do that at the age of 10. What's yeah. a manual? <laughs> You're right, what is a manual? The well, only... manual is just a piece of crap that's inside the game that you don't need to read at all. <laughs> no information whatsoever. I mean, sure, it tells you the backstory to Halo or the um, backstory to Torok, the original one. Or you can no, the codex sequence. But no, nothing is really important. You can throw it away. By the way, Robert. I don't think is he is he in this call? Um, I he's probably away. The only time I heard it, the only time I heard about Metal Gear was I guess when I was like um I can't remember what age I was, but I remember seeing my dad play it like all the time. Oh, your dad played the original, like this one? Yeah. That's awesome. Your dad's automatically awesome. <laughs> this exact Metal Gear? Uh-huh. I can't remember when, but... I gave it a shot, and I was not that great, but... No, I didn't... I, I, had no, I, had no, I had no idea what to do. I just kept shooting people. <laughs> you know what? When I have kids, I'm gonna torture... I mean, bless them. <laughs> <laughs> the to play Metal Gear 1. That's 
gonna be their second game ever. Their first game ever played is gonna be the original Super Mario Brothers. After that, they'll be like, Dad, let me play something else. And I'm like, okay, son, let me turn on turn on this old Xbox 360. What's that? Metal Gear Solid. Am I gonna play that? No, son, you're gonna play something way cooler, or as cool. Metal Gear. Hey, you wanna you wanna know something? I, I just realized. What? what? Alright, so you know how the F-Zero track's all twisty and turny and crazy and wow and stuff like that, right? Yeah. yeah. The tracks in Mario Kart 8 are designed like the same way. I was told that, um, some parts of F-Zero served as inspiration for, um, some of the Mario Kart games. Yeah, and it must be a conspiracy, you guys. And did you I know? I think it started with F Zero's Rainbow Road being taken straight out of Mario 64. Yep. Or Mario Kart 64. Phantom Road. Also, I just got captured. Oh, I hate a Phantom you Road. You suck. Oh yeah, I mean, I think of all the track designs, F Zero, uh, F Zero for the GameCube probably is the best track designs of any racing game. It's just all freaking crazy and shit. It's like, oh, pushy! And here's remember a. How I, remember how I told you guys about the invisible walls? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, wonder how much Big Boss Big Boss is? What? And bada bing bada bing. Metal Gear. Oh my bad, I'll, I'll wait for you. Are you done, Marciano? Look at Great Fox, he's black and he's wearing purple and he's bald. I don't think he's black, he, he's just Asian or. Uh, who knows? Anyways, you wanna know, guys, how much of a big boss Big Boss is on Metal Gear 1? Yeah. He's so much of a big boss, he can beat Metal Gear 1 without getting captured. <laughs> and then the series is over. <laughs> no, the series is over, that's it. It's done. No, I'm, no Metal Gear 2, no Metal Gear Solid, no Metal Gear Rising. Probably done. Solved. The series over. Exactly. By the way, Robert. Oh. Speaking of F Zero, did you know that that very did you know that F Zero GX is the very game that saved Nintendo's uh that literally saved the Nintendo uh, company? Really? Yeah, awesome. because because it's a, it's actually a fan favorite racing. I mean, you got thirty you got thirty uh pilots, a bunch of tracks, and hey, people, this is probably one of the more famous bosses in the game. Um, in the NS version, they mistranslated and called it the Shoot Maker. Um, but this is the Shot Maker. And holy crap, that's one heck of a spread shot. I wish I had that in Halo. Hey, hey guys, guys. Since he doesn't have a backstory, I'll give him a backstory right now. You see, one day he was coming back from the office, and he realized his wife was cheating on him. And he's like, no you didn't! And she's like, she did! <laughs> he grabs a shotgun from his shelf named Sebastian and kills her. <laughs> Afterwards, he wanders the world killing a bunch of different zombies, and he became a hobo, so I guess he's a hobo with a shotgun now? And Big Boss is like, oh, this guy's a boss. Let's like, recruit him to Outer Heaven. So he goes to Outer Heaven, and he gets killed by Snake. That's it. <laughs> oh, man. Kojima oh, needs to write this down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oscar material right there, man. I just, I just remember the whole, like, there was another Easter egg in Metal Gear Solid 4. Like, each time you beat the boss, you can actually grab, you can use the camera, and... You know how they, like, t like, you get teleported into the white, to a white world or something like that? Yeah, uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, did you know that you can select the... First, you can actually select the MVP pl player, and play a song, and then they'll dance to it. Huh. That's awesome. And also, if you use a, if you use the camo, they'll actually pose for you. Nice. But you want to know what gun? I mean, not gun. What song I would use for them to dance? What? The song of my bullets firing at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Dance, water, dance. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who well, got exit? You know, I bet, I bet all the people watching the videos, or at least half of them, are gonna be like, who's this annoying little fag talking? Ugh, he just needs to shut up. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna go like totally play Call of Duty, because that's what a gamer does. 
Yeah. And I'm gonna be like sitting on the couch eating taquitos <laughs> and pwn these little nine year olds. <laughs> <laughs> they actually, they actually talked a few. I like watch, watch this one. After that, all the all the uh, views are gonna like drop to half because they're offended. Like, oh my goodness, I'm offended by what they said because that totally reflects my views. But my views are the right way, and theirs aren't. Yeah. <laughs> Also, Gabe, I'm surprised you didn't like facepalm or something right there. <laughs> oh my goodness, I remember... Uh, looking for that wall was a pain in my butt. Almost as much as a pain in my butt as Kojima Films' butts in Metal Gear. Um, that reminds me, Kojima's admitted that Metal Gear is a series about butts. Oh Metal yeah. Solid, at least. Oh yeah. Because if you notice, there's a shot of butts in a lot of things. True. You, you can <laughs> actually... Like, you can actually go into the like in, like in Metal Gear Solid the fair, uh, Metal Gear Solid the first one. You can actually go into the uh, ladies' room and then call the colonel and get in get another Easter egg. Like Snake, what are you doing in the what are you doing in the ladies' ah, room? That's funny. <laughs> I know. I did that. I was like, what did I do? I just called you from the ladies' room. Oh. Oh, and then MGS two. Um, uh, the colonel and Rose chat. So oh yeah, you can do the same thing and... and then, yeah, and then Snake's like, you should go in there, <laughs> find some useful things, Metal Gear. <laughs> you know what's one of my favorite Kodak conversations of all time? What? What? MGS2, when Raiden tries to, tries to talk trash about Snake behind his back. Oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm kind of like, um, um, let me, let me try to talk about Cody. Um, uh, Raiden, the Snake's in the same route as room as me. Oh! <laughs> I'll, I'll just get back to the mission now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really funny, because in Metal Gear Rising, you can have the optional uh, coded conversation talking about uh, Solid Snake. Uh-huh, yeah. And then uh, guy, the guy Kevin, the black guy, he's like, he starts laughing. He goes, wow, right, and I didn't know you were such a fanboy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> By the way, so you got Metal Gear Rising. Yes, and I beat that. I'm a little confused. I'm, you never was... told me you got it. You just said you beat it. I was oh well, yeah, I have it. Yeah, that's right, because you were grounded when I got it and played it. I was, you rate it? I was actually a little confused about that. I rated five out of five OMGs, but that's not a rating out of how good it was. That's a rating of how much I liked it. There's a difference. I mean, it's good for a uh, for a sword slashing. Well, actually, you can use an RPG for that too, but. But a lot of people say that it's a lot like Ninja Guide, and from what I've seen, yeah, yeah. well, you can well, you can yeah. use you can use weapons in there too. Well, you know what I have to say though. What? what I have to say is they obviously never seen Gray Fox or Olga or Raiden for that matter exactly. in MGS one, two, and four. They, I mean. Exactly. Like, okay, MGS And then one. there was the fear in MGS3, who could almost qualify as a ninja. True. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. But, like, let's go, okay, let's, let's go further back. Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. It yeah, had... Black Shadow. Black Shadow, oh my goodness. When I first played Metal Gear 2, I got... I had Did a bad... Did you see that fatal mistake I made, dude? Yes, it yeah. disappeared. Don't you hate that? Yes. Pretty that much. was the last wall. Right, let me tell you my what happened in M M MG2. Okay, so I was playing. And I'm, getting, I'm getting really frustrated with the game. I like Metal Gear One. Or Metal Gear. I'm playing it, and it's all like, I guess, where's the gun at? I don't have a gun. Robert, can you please mute your typing? Robert. And then it's like, I get the first boss. I'm like, oh, wait, what's the first boss? Black Shadow. I'm gonna hit you with these ninja stars. And I'm like, ah, oh, crap, I don't got a gun, I don't got a gun. So I had to beat the first boss with no guns with my fist. Ironically, that's how you beat Gray Fox. True. And not to mention so, the first, that ninja teleports. Yes, mm -hmm. that ninja teleports. So it was like, I'm amazed I beat him without a gun. And then it's like, I'm like, oh my goodness, I had to have nostalgia come on. And it almost killed me. Oh. LJ, I got an idea for your solo let's play. Yeah. Snatcher. Oh. <laughs> you can very easily download a uh, Sega CD emulator and play it in English. Hmm. I have it. 
What do you think? I'll do that. I'm still trying to look for my uh, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes one. By the way, Robert. I know you're there because you were typing. Real loud. <laughs> really loud, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really said anything either, by the way, AJ Edwards. Oh yeah, I'm busy. <laughs> and he got disconnected again. Ah. Every time I try to ask him this question. It's like the computer doesn't want you to ask him. Oh, did you did y'all like in Metal Gear uh, two? Did you did y'all try to shoot like Pliskin, aka Snake? In Metal Gear Solid two. Yeah. I'm just making sure because like I was like listening in Metal Gear two and you said Pliskin. I'm like what what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I got confused. <laughs> um. Yes, I did. He kicked my butt. <laughs> I punched him, and I knocked him out. <laughs> oh, I knocked him out with the tranquilizer. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I remember when I, was, I had- when he gave me the sword, I'm like, Oh, I got a sword! I immediately started attacking a snake. He pwned me several times, until finally I knocked him out, and got the liquid snake dog tag. <laughs> I just- I just said I punched him, and I slapped him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, solid snake's not to be messed with in that game. Yeah, you will. Okay, there, you will get your one. you 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 will you will get your ass kicked. Yep. Well, that reminds me. There's one thing I like I like about the X. Well, there's a few things I like more about Xbox and PS3. Not that I'm saying I'm a Microsoft fanboy. I'm not. But there's one guaranteed thing I like more about Xbox. It's that how you can play custom tracks. True. Yeah, like what I did when I went. I'm playing in Metal Gear Solid 2. When you you and uh, Raiden. Well, Snake and Ryden fight the Arsenal Tengu. The song I loved playing at that part was Theme of Solid Snake. Oh. It, it just matched so perfectly with the scene. Mm-hmm. the heck? <laughs> Although next time I should play Red Alert from Metal Gear 1. Cause that's an awesome. Oh. You died, man. Wait, wait, how about you die? I did it on purpose. Yeah, you should have in there. I should save that ration. That's reasonable. I really, snake, I really do like a barrel how this game is structured. I do too. By the way, Snake, do a barrel roll. <laughs> oh wait, you can't do that until Metal Gear Solid 2. You can actually oh, you can, Solid 4 <laughs> as well. You can actually do it. Yeah, you can actually do it in Metal Gear Solid 3. Because in, in Metal Gear Solid 4, you can get into well can and roll. I know, that's what I was saying. No, no, oh, oh, you, <laughs> oh, you guys are taking my barrel roll seriously. I was talking about, like, dodge roll. <laughs> okay. Oh, speaking of, speaking of Metal Gear Solid 4, y'all know that character Akiba, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, By the way. That, that, that diarrhea dude. Yeah. Johnny. Yeah. AKA Akiba. Mm -hmm. Yeah, try staying like a few minutes with his team, and he literally just craps himself out. Yes, uh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> By the way, can you imagine if in the 3D games guard guards board in that fast when you got uh, captured when I captured uh, Colin? Like, that'd be scary. <laughs> don't 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 talk about such horrible things. It's like talking about combining Carnage and It. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just shut up. Let's not keep talking. No, don't. No one tell us it's not right is. the thing. Shh, shh, shh. Stop talking. I want to sleep tonight. I want to sleep tonight. Please. Um. Uh, uh, uh. I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, Johnny. You know what I classify him, him as? I classify him as a crouching moron hidden BA. Look that up on TV trope. You know what it is. <laughs> Cause you're thinking this guy's lame. He got beat up in his clothes taken in Metal Gear Solid One. He got diarrhea in the middle of a mission in MGS Two. His granddad was well a prison guard who was really lonely. Can you see where I'm going? Yeah. Uh, uh, after he after he escaped, he got executed. Ooh. Yep. Wait. Do, do you all know where I'm going? Hmm? I'm going in a truck. Well, actually, kind of, yes. 
Dan. Anyways, as I was saying earlier, yeah, Johnny just, at, and at the end of the game, you're like, Johnny, he, he's, he's just lame. I'm sorry, he's lame. And then, out of nowhere, Johnny's like, Meryl! Boom! Boom! They're like, oh snap, Johnny! And you realize, oh yeah, he's a genome soldier. Duh. Died. Fatality. How many times do you think you died in this game, Gabe? It depends. Your first time through. Like I said, it depends. What do you mean? How long is the universe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you how many times I died. <laughs> oh, and don't get me started on getting the Metal Gear and being a little disappointed. You didn't fight Metal Gear itself, just the, uh, lasers. The maximum times I died was an episode, was positively 56. At least you get to see Metal Gear in this one. True, that is true. Although, ironically, what did MGS4 do? Well, you... I did both of them. Exactly, the irony. You get to ride on one of them, too. I know, even more ironic. I like that but, part. Uh, that was like that was my best part. Using the actual Metal Gear to, to fight the other one. Yeah, I was I was so close to hating MGS4 because my PS my PS3 at my when I had it at my dad's house, like there was no insulation in the house. And it's like the PS3 kept freezing up and I'm all like it always froze on certain parts and I got really irritated. And I'm like, you know what, I'm this close to hating it and then like by the end of act I was like, I just hate this game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat it anyways. When I get, I, when I got I, to the vamp fight, dude, I really had to push you to play, to play the fourth act. Yeah, you did. I, cause I was really agitated by that game. And finally, when I get to the vamp fight, I was like, why am I not beating him? He, he won't die. And I was like, you know, screw it. I don't care. I'm not gonna even try anymore. And then Marcion just told me, you have to grab him and inject him with the serum. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> did that. So I poned Vamp, because at first I was poning Vamp, and he just didn't die, and I just stopped trying, I let myself get killed, I'm like, eh, yeah, well, whatever. Kill Vamp, I felt so accomplished. I didn't feel, like, 100%, but I was close! Get to ride that Metal Gear? I love the game. Yep. And, oh, don't get me started on that torture. Oh, I hated oh, that. Me and my dad take turns and getting past that, like... Uh, th my th my thumbs hurt it after that. I'm like, yeah, there's no way we're going to keep playing with our hurtful thumbs. By the way, you know what's ironic? The problem was you were using your thumbs. I know, I just. There he is. I was. Yeah, the thumbs were not a great idea. I was like, uh. I use my index finger. That wouldn't work either. No, that would not work. If you. If you're one of the people, I don't, I don't know if you are, but if you're one of the people who thought that the final portion of the Xemnas fight in Kingdom Hearts 2 was tough because of all the button mashing, good luck! Me and AJ, me and AJ didn't realize we had to, me and AJ were pressing the wrong, we were pressing the wrong button. I mean, oh yeah! We didn't, I mean, I mean, we yeah, didn't, I was ignoring Sora's button mashing, I yeah, was I, I just started pressing I, the, I didn't even see, I didn't even see the X, the X one. I know, I just pressed I was just I was just pressing the three. What I did was one zip. 